Hello everyone, I'm Alex, and welcome back to another video. Um, I, I don't know what to say for this one. This may be the most incredible video I'm ever going to make. So I was on TikTok at about 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, scrolling aimlessly, in the hopes that in some way, shape or form, I'll be able to find a reason to want to live. And as I was doing that, I came across this video which was addressing some form of TikTok controversy, which I didn't even know was a thing. And instead of explaining to you what this video is, I'm just going to show you. Hi guys, I just want to talk to you for a little minute. I'm going to make a YouTube video clearing this all up. I loved my ex-boyfriend so much. I spent two and a half years with him. And experiencing all those memories with someone and being with them for two and a half years, of course it's going to hurt me. Oh, well, that sounds uh, really sad. Uh, breakups are never easy. Uh, she doesn't seem like she's really too moved by it, though. I loved my ex-boyfriend so much. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but at the same time, you don't really have to share that with the internet. It's sort of something you have to do. You don't have to put on a whole, like, full works crying and all that. Um, I don't know what has happened yet, though, so let's just keep watching and find out. Bisexuality is 100% okay. I'm all for it. All my friends, I've got a lot of gay and bi friends, and I have nothing against them. Oh, hang on, what? Wait, what do, you, what do you mean? You have gay friends, yeah. Um, well, I don't know, have I heard that one before? I couldn't possibly be homophobic in any way, shape or form. Because, because I've got gay friends, you know, and bisexuality is real. I don't know why she's saying that, why is she saying it's real? She better not have said that it isn't real. Now after I watched that, I thought, I need to figure out what's going on here. Because this is way too interesting for me, there seems to be a lot going on that I've missed out on. So when I found this video, about the stuff that she'd been called out on saying. Her ex-boyfriend leaked the text messages that she had sent out after they broke up. And they are unbelievable. So the conversation starts off like this. Why are you mad? Question mark. She replies with, why do you fucking think? He replies with, actually explain it to me for once. She replies with, should have dumped me a week into it. If you knew you were gay, gay, gay. He replies with, quite adequately, actually, um, not gay. <laughs> just, to, you don't really have to say much more to it, it's just uh, not gay. She replies with, I don't agree with bi. You're either gay or you're not, Liam. Hang on, I was just checking to see if there was anybody else in the room. Because, uh... I was hoping nobody would hear that stupid shit that just came out of your mouth. Just come out, it's fine. She finishes that with, um, after saying <laughs> that his sexuality isn't valid. But it, it'll be fine if you come out. You know, homophobes aren't going to come after you. Just me. He then says, don't agree with it then. And she says, I don't, which is, which is great, you know. Uh, not agreeing with uh, somebody's sexuality. So then he says, it's a thing whether you agree or not. And she goes, yeah, well, I don't. You know, doubling down on the fact that she uh, doesn't agree. I'm all for LGBTQ. I'm going Pride this year. Oh, well, that's great. Get your flags out and, you know, have a great time at Pride. Uh, unless you're bi, then maybe don't turn up, I suppose, according to her. Um, people like me and Liam, we're not real people. We just made up fictional characters. We're, we're just saying that somebody's created in their mind, it's not an actual real thing. He then replies with, well clearly not, because guess what the B stands for? Uh, very clever there Liam, um, stands for bisexual by the way, for anybody at home who's not following. She replies with, and this is, honestly I, I, I can't believe I'm going to read this out, so I'm just going to kind of get it a bit set in, so you know, you can kind of prepare yourself for this, um, you know, grab something near you, uh, that, uh, like a cuddly toy, you know, just make sure that you're comfortable and, uh, you're kind of ready for what I'm about to say. I don't agree with bi on its own. LGTQ. I don't care, Liam. She dropped the whole B. Like it was never meant to be there in the first place. You know, not homophobic. Don't get it twisted. Don't ever get it wrong. Don't ever mince my words. I'd never be a homophobe, as she goes on to say. It's just LGTQ. Because I don't agree with the bisexual. But I'm not homophobic once again. I just want to make it clear if you're watching this at home. She's not homophobic. It, she just doesn't agree with them. But it's not homophobia, right? Because... 
because it's LGTQ. <laughs> and you may be thinking, it, it can't get worse than that, possibly ever, really. Um, he then says, all because I'm bi and you don't agree with it. That's low-key homophobic. I'd like to say, Liam, that's high-key homophobic, by the way, not low-key, high-key. I'm not homophobic. Fuck off trying to be a know-it-all. Yeah, because everybody knows that it's LGTQ. You're a hoe anyway, kissing all them guys. <laughs> How is this even real? Now, um, it gets a bit serious after after that bit, if, if it wasn't kind of serious already, um, because she then goes on to say the words, there's no such thing as consent in a relationship. And I don't, I don't really want to know the context behind that one, but there is. Speak to a lawyer about it. Now, now we know why she's in all that trouble. Let us go back to that original video and hear what she had to say about it. I've got a lot of gay and bi friends and I have nothing against them. I love them all, they're so amazing. I love them all, they're so amazing. Apart from you, Liam, you ho. The thing is, he didn't say he's not straight. He said he likes both of them, which means he is not straight. Yeah, I suppose, but he's also not gay. He likes both genders, which means he still likes you, probably. I don't know why, after reading those text messages. Consent does matter in a relationship, but the way I wrote it, he knew what I meant, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, consent doesn't matter in a relationship, but based on the way I wrote it, he got me. And I'm getting death threats, hate comments, I'm getting everything. I've had to get rid of all my comments. I just, I'm sick of it now because people don't listen to what I have to say. Ugh. And then it ends with that. Uh, people people don't listen with what she's got to say. Oh, I did just uh, listen to what she had to say. And, um, yeah, I didn't really like it. And the reason why I found it quite funny is because now um, Olivia is on a bit of a quest to try and prove the fact that she loves the gays and the bisexuals who are very real people and didn't get made up in fairyland where it's all rainbows. And crazy bunnies and soft toys. So I went for a TikTok and saw that she posted this. You so bad, and baby, I want you so bad, yeah. You so bad, yeah, and baby, I want you so bad. <laughs> so Liam's a hoe for kissing all them men, but you kiss a girl and it's all good. Um, I'd like to follow this up with the fact that the caption of this is. Sexuality doesn't matter, you know, it does, who cares about that? Um, quite clearly you did, Olivia, or you wouldn't have said all those things. Imagine going up to your mate and going, oh, come on, I'm in a bit of a controversy right now, so you mind kissing me for a TikTok? I don't even do it on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> that got 120k likes. That's how stupid people are nowadays. They saw her kiss a woman and went, can't be homophobic, why'd she do that? But you didn't see the part where she goes, Afterwards, that was cut. You honestly couldn't write it. If you go on her page, it's literally apology video and then kissing a woman. She's even gone in TikTok and set that as the thumbnail. Just to make sure you knew what was going on. She then posted this TikTok, which is like her lip syncing to a thing, because that's what you kind of do on there. And, um, yeah, give, give this a listen. We didn't break up because anything bad happened or because there wasn't love or friendship. I love him and I, and I, the friendship is still strong and I think he's great and I care about him and that didn't change. Still love him, still love my boyfriend, um, ex-boyfriend. He's not real because he comes from fairy bisexual land and we all know they don't exist. It's just incredible how far this misses the mark. <laughs> if you do have like gay and LGBT friends, How do they part with this? My favourite thing is if you read the comments and see what people actually have to say about this whole fiasco on her one where she kisses her mate. It's just... Unbelievable density. Like, if you go like... It's hollow in there. It echoes. I love you five ever. Ignore the hate. Oh well, you better just be gay then, if you love her. You better love her and be gay. Because if you love her and you're bi, then you're not real, are you? People who believe they actually kissed equals clowns. Um, yeah, I mean, I want another angle, just so I can really assess that, just to make sure that it's uh, it's real. Man, I just I can't believe the stuff that I see nowadays on social media. The fact that people like that exist, 
blows me away. It really does. If you guys enjoyed this video, 60,000 likes, and I will go and do a bisexual TikTok. <laughs> Just to prove. Prove that we're real. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, people, and have a good day.